Hi, my name is Adrian. I'm going to look at project organization, planning and design. If your project has lots of small clips, some very large clips, you're going to use lots of effects, lots of editing, some pictures in pictures. It's best to work on small projects, produce them and then combine them together into a final video. So working in Windows, I like to take my source clips and copy them into a specific project folder. I use the Windows copy and paste function and I transfer them into my specific project folder. In this case it's a dive on the El Arish car ferry wreck in Safaga in Egypt. When all my clips are in my project location, I use a batch renamer to rename them so that they're all identifiable with this project. Working in PowerDirector, we can now import all our clips into our library. When we've imported all the clips, we can start to organize our library by using the library subfolder menu. This will allow us to create subfolders that will form the basis of our subprojects. In this case some deep diving clips, some shallow diving clips and some surface shots. We can move our clips into each of the respective subfolders by dragging and dropping them one by one or by grouping them together and dragging and dropping them into the appropriate subfolder. Eventually we will have a main library organized into our sub-projects. It's important at this stage that we save that library so that we can call it back at a later date. And we use the library save function and we can save it into our project folder. Of course, when we're working on our individual sub-projects, we don't necessarily need the full library. So we can delete out the subfolders that we don't require. In this case, we'll concentrate on the deep diving clips. We can now start to create our sub-project video. We drag and drop our clips to the timeline and we can start editing, color correcting, putting in our fades, transitions, titles, audio tracks. It's very important we save our sub-project into a sub-project fo folder. We can produce our sub-project video into whichever file format we want and we should also export and pack our sub-project so that it's archived for use later or for safeguarding and backup. This makes sure that our sub-projects are all available, complete with all their components, their clips, audio tracks. Our subsequent sub-projects are treated in exactly the same way. We load our main library and again we can delete the subfolders that we don't require. We can carry on, edit, produce, save and export. Our final compilation is done by using all the individual sub-project videos that we have produced, which we bring into the library. In this case there's also some intro clips, some credits, as well as the main sub-project videos themselves and we can start to assemble our final video using our sub-projects 
as individual components. Again, we can drag and drop them into the timeline. We can put in our final transitions, any audio tracks, any subtitles, titles that we require. We must always remember to save our project and also to export and pack our project. Finally, we can produce our video as a completed video. And here is a clip of the propellers of the El Arish in 120 feet of water in Safaga in Egypt.